hey guys welcome back let's create a message controller php addition make controller message controller let's create some model as well php addition make model message and then user message let's go to the message controller controller then message controller let's remove unwanted files for now let's define a method here public function conversation this will be the conversation page as well and user id will be the parameter let's go to the home controller and copy that users and you need to import the respective class as well php storm auto import that classes when you copy and paste and then let's define friend info here user and find or fail find or fail and then user id so this is the friend info and let's define my info as well my info equals to user user find auth id we may use auth data directly in the view but still i would like to define it separately so this data users users friend info and let's do it for my info as well So this data user ID we may need user ID in the view so uh, that's why I am defining user ID as well this data user ID equals to user ID just for the simplicity and then return I will create view later and message that conversation and this return the data as well this data so that we can use them in the view let's make a view file let's go to the resources let's go to the resources and then in the view and let's create a file converse session dot blade dot psp for now let's copy everything from the home dot blade dot psp into the conversation dot blade dot psp and let's define a route for the conversation function so let's go to the routes 
and then we've got PSP and let's define it out here route we get conversation and message controller and then conversation conversation function and route name message dot conversation so it looks good and we need to send parameter as well user id let's go to the home dot blade dot psp and let's add the route here for the conversation route message dot conversation and let's send user id as parameter user id let's check into the browser message dot conversation was not found yeah we need to keep our conversation file into the message folder of the view so let's create directory there into the views message and then send conversion dot blade PSV into the message yeah, so the, fo the file is moved to the conversation to the message folder the file is moved to the message folder Let's remove this and add chat body here. Yeah, it looks good. Let's add icon here to display if the user is online or offline. So this is the status icon. So add the class user status icon. Title away. Let's open home page here. And yeah. Let's add some style here. Set image. Position of the icon should be absolute. And let's keep position relative to the chat image. So the icon will be relative to the chat image. top 20 and left 20 increase little bit so it looks good let's give color as well the default color will be gray at the beginning let's copy the style and go to the style that says and then paste it here user status icon yeah also chat image position relative That looks good. Mm. 
where it to add the icon for the conversation page. Let's make the selected user active. If user ID equals to double equals to user ID, then this ally should be active. We are comparing with user ID. Here we have written the user ID of the friend of the selected user. Actually, we don't need it. Uh, we may use friend info ID here. Friend info ID. Friend info and the ID. So this is the same thing. If and active. If user ID match with the friend info ID, then the link should be active, then the ally should be active. Uh, currently, the user monarch Khadka is selected. Let's go to Styler CSS. And let's reduce the margin a little bit. Margin to px. Yeah, looks good. Let's get the class font weight bold to make the font size bold. To make the font weight bold. Yeah, we need to add in the conversation blade that piece as well. Yeah, looks good. Let's go to the style dot CSS. Body the font size should be 18 px. Yeah, looks good. Let's add the icon in the conversation page as well. That yeah, looks good. Let's update the CSS for name image. Go to the name image. Name image. And then let's update it a little bit since we have up we have increased our font size. Text align center and then height should be 50px as well. Let's check it. Yeah, 